So part of what makes the interface about Studio One so great is that it's just drag and drop for pretty much everything. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways that I use that with my song, Easy. Okay, so on the chorus, I have a kick drum that's just laid out on an audio track right here. It's easy. No, no, no. And you can see this first part, I kind of have them shortened a little bit with a little bit of a fade out on there. And then for this second section, it goes to the full length of the sample. If I want to swap that sample out, it's super easy. I just find a new sample over here in the browser. Let's try this one. And I just drag it on top of the sample while holding Alt Option. And it's going to replace all of those events and it keeps the same lengths that I had before. So another thing you can drag and drop are effects plugins. So let's take this vocal right here from the chorus. Cool, so let's say we want to add maybe some distortion to that. So we can go in here, search distortion in my plugin browser, and let's grab this one. Just drag it right onto the end. And there it is. Nobody said, nobody said, nobody said it was easy. So that's an insert effect, and then if we want to add a send, so let's search for a reverb. Grab this one, and I just drag it right here to the sends, plop it in, and then doing that made an effects channel, and it put this effect as the first plugin on it. If you're coming from another DAW, this is saving you several steps. And this is what it would sound like. Nobody said, nobody said, nobody said it was now this is really cool. Say I want to put an effect just on a particular clip. So I'm going to isolate just this one word right here. And let's throw a delay on that. So I can just drag the delay onto the track and hold option. And it's going to go only on this selected clip right here.